Are you a streamer that just bought your stream deck and you're not entirely sure how to set it up? You've seen all these cool features and you want to be able to use it for things like TikTok, Twitch, and all these other platforms that you can stream live from. You want to be able to have these cool effects. Well, in order to get those cool effects, you need to be able to set up your stream deck for yourself. And in this video, I'm going to show you the first phases that you need to do to be able to set up your stream deck. We're using the Stream Deck Neo, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything A to Z that you need to take the first initial steps to be able to get this thing up and running. So let's dive in. Now, when you first unpack your Stream Deck Neo, it's a really easy setup. In the back, there's like a little fold out here that you can have so that you can adjust it and then have it sit up properly on your desk. This comes with a USB-C port right here that you can see. You're going to plug that straight into the side of your computer, whether you're using a Mac or a Windows, you just plug that directly in here. You'll see that it'll light up initially with a couple preloaded settings. You're gonna see apps, links, emojis, tutorials, undo, redo. These are just presets that they give you. These presets are interesting because you can customize every single one of them. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up so that you can eventually get to that phase to where you're customizing your stream deck once you plug in your elgato one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head to you're going to want to head over to elgato us downloads if you go to elgato.com you can just come over to the download section and it'll bring you to the exact same thing this is important because when you are looking at your operating system you're going to download based off your operating system so if you're on a mac make sure that you click mac if you're on windows make sure that you click windows so that you don't get those two confused and you can have the right download right now i'm using a mac now what you're going to do is you're going to look specifically for Stream Deck. So you're going to come over here. We have the Stream Deck Neo. This will tell you everything that it's compatible with, which is important because if you have multiple Stream Decks, like say you have the Foot Pedal or the Stream Deck Neo, you want to make sure that the download that you have specifically for this is going to make sense. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to click download. You don't have to sign up. You can say continue with the download. Boom. It'll pop up here. And then you're going to go through the download segment and opening everything up for that once you do that you will see an icon here that says elgato stream deck you're going to go ahead and click that and open it up and it's going to show you the keys that you have for your stream deck neo now this looks a little intimidating when you first look at it because you're not entirely sure what everything means let's break it down each one of these buttons are the physical buttons that are on your stream deck you can delete replace and add additional pages so that your stream deck isn't just operating as eight keys or however many keys are on the actual dashboard it's important for you to know that you can create certain folders similar to this apps one that when we click into the apps you have an entire different setup so this is really important when it comes to organization and workflow right maybe you want to have specifically a TikTok live stream set up and you go ahead and you click the TikTok app on your Elgato and it opens up all the keys that you specifically want to use for that feature. And then say if you're coming over to Twitch and you have a completely different workflow for Twitch, different overlays, different actions, different counters, stuff like that, you can create these different buttons to have different assignments and different breakdowns through them. That was the back button. We're at the home screen now. And you can make each one of these pages different types of actions. You can also add another page. So when you add another page, let's say if I wanted to open up like music settings and then I want to change back and forth between my music, I can do that. So now that you understand what each of these hot buttons means, let's go ahead and look at our default profiles. You can, you can create a new profile for each setting, which will essentially create a new page for you. These are your default profiles that it comes with, but when you want to create a new profile, you can start there, and then you want to come over here to Preferences, and right here is where you're going to check for different types of updates, different types of devices that you have currently connected to the account, different types of accounts that you want to add to this. Like say you want to add Twitch, you want to add YouTube. You can do that through here, but you're going to go ahead and make sure that this stuff is filled in 
It'll show you all the plugins that you have downloaded. It is extremely important for you to keep this constantly updated because there's certain bugs that are constantly fixed, new plugins, new additional features. So make sure to always check for updates. Great, I'm up to date on the latest version. I got my Stream Deck Neo. You're going to want to set this from sleep, from whatever it is to never, because you don't want this to just shut down. Um, you can increase the brightness and decrease the brightness here. Update firmware, constantly making sure that all your updates are good to go when something's not correct. You add your live accounts here, um, your different types of profiles. You can organize them here, which you can customize based off of your need. Um, you know, you can have the foot pedal one, like if you have your foot pedal plugged in and it has a ton of different types of presets. This is great for workflows, right? This is great for being able to organize your live streaming so that you can make everything done from a click of a button. How, how do we get to this point now to where we look at our keys and all that? And we actually say, yeah, I want to start using some of this stuff. I just don't know where the frick to get it. That is where this next part comes into place. You are going to want to be spending a majority of time building out your workflows in the marketplace. So when you come back to Elgato here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on the marketplace. And this is where you get all the plugins, all the icons, all the sound effects that Elgato is constantly releasing. And you're going to be able to check out the plugin section, right, for like here we have OBS. If you want to be able to live stream on OBS, you're going to want to go ahead and get this and download it um, to your account. Make sure that you log into your account so that everything's seamless for you. Um, if you want to open up Discord, right, you can have a Discord button that directly opens everything up. If you want to be able to add music, you can get the Spotify app and you can go ahead and make sure that I'm going to go ahead and just do this here real quick. But say if I want to play music and I want to open up music, boom, open up in Stream Deck. Now, if we open up in the Elgato Stream Deck, allow it to authenticate. Great. Now we have a whole segment that if I want to play music and pause music and I have my entire screen in front of me, I don't have to switch over to another screen. I can simply take the Spotify, like so... If I were to customize this right now in front of you guys, I'm on page one. I want to do uh, Spotify and I want to go ahead and push play. That means that I will open up the app, download it, and it'll begin playing music. If I want to shuffle to a different song, boom, I have my next key for that. If I want to switch to a different track, maybe I want to go back to the previous track, right? Maybe I want to make a uh, volume control, volume up. And then I can add another volume control, and then I can label that volume down. I can turn the volume up and down from my Stream Deck. And if you see here, it's making the changes as I make them on the virtual Elgato. You can title it. You can say uh, Spotify volume down, right? And now it's saved as that. And you can see it on your screen here as well. You can make it a simple phrase that you use. But... That's where you start to really start to customize these different features through the marketplace. Now, let's say if you want to add TikTok Live, we're going to go back to the marketplace. I'm going to do TikTok Live right here. You have the TikTok Live to be able to download this. One important thing to know is that if you go to download TikTok Live Studio for the Stream Deck, if you have a Mac, it won't work. So you want to be able to use this and do the same exact workflow for your Windows, which is kind of a pain. But until TikTok Live Studio is rolled out on Mac, that's what you're going to have to do for now. But it's all the same type of workflow, same type of downloads. If you want to customize your keys, you will be able to do that through here. And you can upload different icons as well. So you can choose the preloaded icons or you can upload icons as well so now if we want to create another page say we want to create a obs right section to where in obs we click record we open up obs we click this button and it begins recording for us right so this is a way that we can kind of get away from jumping from screen to screen to screen to screen to be able to just navigate back and forth from our now if you notice on the neo there's a button here and here if I were to press this button here, I would go to page one, 
and then I can flip to page two, as you can see on the screen, which is super convenient because you don't want to be screwing around with this, these different types of windows when you can have a piece of hardware that you go back and forth between and you know where everything is. The Elgato Stream Deck is made to make your life easier, not harder when you go to stream. Now we want to create a third page to navigations, which is like creating a folder. You can also use this just for overall workflow on your desktop, even if you're not live streaming. If you want to clear out some of the buttons, you can just click, press delete, and then just clear them out. But with each one of these different types of tracks here that you have, you can customize certain types of actions that will allow you to know exactly what button you're pressing and why you're pressing it. At the end of the day, the most important thing for you to understand is what is the goal for the Elgato Stream Deck and then to be able to work backwards through your workflow. But the key things that you need to know are, one, you need to know what your goal is for the Stream Deck. Two, you need to be able to download the Stream Deck software. And then three, and last but not least, you need to make sure that you're in the marketplace downloading everything that you need for your Elgato to be able to have the workflow that you want to be able to accomplish. For live recordings such as StreamYard, you're going to want to use OBS, but TikTok Live Studio, you're going to make you're going to want to make sure that you download the marketplace for Elgato and then you can make those customized key features when you go to open up your TikTok Live Studio, which we will be doing a deep dive into TikTok Live Studio because TikTok is one of our partners. We're going to be doing a extensive deep dive into TikTok Live Studio and how you can have the best live using Elgato software and hardware. We're going to put that video down here so that you can watch it if you are a TikTok live streamer or if you're just using it for regular workflows. We're going to be doing full gear reviews on how you can have the best home studio set up for yourself and whatever workflow that you're trying to accomplish. So make sure you check out the gear talk. We're going to be listing all the types of Elgato hardware that we're personally using. Last but not least, if you found this video helpful or if you still have questions, Drop a comment in the comment section below and let us know how we can help you. If this video helped you, great. Let us know where it helped you. Or if things are still unclear, drop a comment and I'm more than willing to jump into things more developed as well as create other videos that we can use to help you in your process of becoming a content creator. I'm Manager John and I'll see you on the next video.